Hello and welcome. In this presentation, you see how the self-service administrator or customer administrator helps a self-service user or customer user assess why a request fails. The self-service user has no access to features to fix problems related to the failure of a job, such as deploying a server. The user must provide some identifying information from the job to the administrator who has access to job activity information. The information includes a log file for all the actions taken within the context of a job. We take a look at a failed attempt to deploy a server by starting with the user view of the self-service portal homepage. In this session, I'm logged in as a self-service user and we see a view of the self-service portal homepage. Here, we see the latest failed assembly deployment. The status value is execution error. Click on the job name in the list to see more information about the request. Beyond the job name, there is no additional information that could provide any clue as to what, exactly, caused the failure. Take note of the request details, where the time is 094628 Pacific Daylight Savings Time. Now, let's take the administrator's view. I am logged in as the self-service administrator. To view the details and log information related to a job, navigate through the Enterprise menu to Job, then click Activity. The Jobs list appears, and there are two search criteria we clear first by clicking the small x with each criterion. Click the small triangle next to the Owner label in the list of available criteria. A search box appears. Enter the username Sales Self Service User 1. The name is not case sensitive. Click the magnifying glass to find all jobs owned by Sales Self Service User 1. Now, click the small triangle next to the status label in the list of available criteria. Then, click Problem. The list of all jobs that exhibited problems appears. Hover the mouse over the name of the last failed assembly deployment and see that the time in the job name is 094628, which matches the failed request we saw on the self-service portal interface. Click on the name. The execution details appear. All the small actions that make up the job appear on the left side of the screen and log file output appears on the right side. As you can see, scrolling the log file provides a lot of information. However, to find the problem, we click the download link above and to the right of the log file output. In the download dialog box, we elect to open the file in the generic text editor and click OK. Search within the text editor by pressing Ctrl F and enter the word error. Reorient the editor and use the horizontal scroll bar to see the leftmost side of the file. In this file, you see the problem has to do with assigning a VNIC. Troubleshooting this issue is beyond the scope of this presentation, but you now know that the self-service administrator can access useful detail to share with the cloud administrator to resolve underlying issues beyond the self-service portal. This ends the presentation. Thank you for watching.